nutrition in the previous class we discussed about various life processes that helps in the maintenance of the systems that helps in the maintenance of the structure or organization of an organism so a living organism it is living living in the sense various cells in its body various molecules in its body are to be maintained if there is any damage that has to be repaired so an organism to maintain this it needs so many life processes we identified so many life processes among those the important one or the primary one is the nutrition so we discussed that every organism needs the supply of molecules so why do we need supply of molecules why do we need some materials from outside into our body we need these materials for the purpose of maintenance that is for the purpose of repair of damaged parts of our body that is for the energy to grow and to do activities different activities and we need the supply of materials to grow and the organisms need the supply of materials to reproduce for all these we need the supply of materials so what are those materials nothing but the food items every organism it needs food then how these organisms get their food how these organisms obtain their food from the outside world do all organisms are obtaining their food in the similar way see animals and plants both are quite different animals you know how do they obtain their food they eat their food we can see that with naked eyes but plants how do they get their food they don't have any mouth parts even to take the food then how do they get their food different organisms get the food in different ways so the process of obtaining the food is also a part of nutrition so the nutrition it includes how the organism is obtaining the food how the organism is taking the materials from the outside world and how it is converting these taken materials into the usable form in the process of digestion that also comes under nutrition so the basic purpose of food is similar in almost all organisms every organism it need food that is to get energy to carry out its metabolic activities to grow and to reproduce even plants or animals but the form of the food they take is different in some kind of organisms they take very simple compounds simple substances say for example if you see the plants what do they take from the environment as a source of food as a source of energy they take carbon dioxide and water so with the help of sunlight these are made into some other useful compounds that is in the body of the plant but what are the materials taken from the outside carbon dioxide and water these two are very simple inorganic compounds carbon dioxide water simple compounds but some organisms they take much complex a bit higher than these simple compounds if you see bacteria or if you see fungi so they take some substances which are found in the decomposed bodies dead and decaying matter so from them they take if you see the higher animals like humans humans what do we take we take complex molecules complex molecules humans or other animals they feed on plants they cannot make the food material directly from the sunlight so plants they are taking the simple substances from the environment like carbon dioxide and water and they are preparing the food so these kind of organisms are called as autotrophs 
So the green plants are called as autotrophs as they use the simple substances like carbon dioxide and water from the environment in presence of sunlight. So they prepare the food materials. These are autotrophs. And whereas the other organisms including of animals and fungi, other animals, humans are a part of animals and fungi. So they get the food from other animals, from other organisms even plants. So animals and fungi, they are dependent on plants for food. They are called as heterotrophs. Heterotrophs. So heterotrophs are the organisms that obtain their food from other organisms. It may be plant or animal. So the animals and fungi, they depend on other organisms for their food. They may depend on plants, they may depend on animals. So this kind of nutrition is called as heterotrophic nutrition and whereas the nutrition that is found in the plants is called as if autotrophic like video, nutrition. Please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.